Hey there, it's Kevin from YourMakingMe.com. Today what I want to do is give you a quick tutorial on how to use labels in XMind. The good news is that it's part of the free version of XMind. It's considered part of the Mind Toolbox, but that really just means it's cool features that make it look really good and they're simple to apply. The benefit of labels is that you can add short notes that really stand out. You can see this is a label right here. The yellow part is a label. They're great for annotating. They're great for categorizing things. They're even great for reminders. If I want to do something by, I don't know, let's say the end of the year, I can pop in here and I can say December 31st, and I can start adding dates, or I can add names or ideas. A really, really easy and fast and simple way to throw whatever you want in. And again, when you look at it, it draws your attention because of how it's set apart from the rest of the information. Adding a label is as simple as using the Select Label tool. The way I do it is I always use F3 because it's just for me that's part of my keyboard commands. Two other ways to get into it though as well besides the F buttons. One is to use modify and then label. So I'll click on modify and then label the second one down. Third way you can do it is they actually have a toolbar shortcut as well. And it's this one right here. It's a little different but if you hover over it it'll tell you what it is. I'd recommend learning the F3 key because this is one that I think you'll use a lot. But like always up to you how you want to use it. Another feature of labels is that you can filter or search using the labels, and it's a really powerful feature. I'll just let you know right up front that if for the filter, you have to have XMind Plus, and for search, you have to have XMind Pro. So there you have it, the labels feature in XMind. If you found this video useful, get the cheat sheet. It's an XMind workbook filled with tutorials, videos, and links, and all sorts of cool stuff. Imagine that, using XMind to help you use XMind. You can get it by following the link below. All I ask in exchange is that you give my newsletter a chance. Thanks for watching.